619, this is Raccoon's Radio Ranch. Hi there everyone and welcome to Raccoon's Radio Ranch. I'm your host, Raccoon. If this is your first time here, please do me a big favor and smack the thumbs up to like the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click the little bell icon in order to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And be sure to share this video with all your friends. Now let's jump into the video. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to wire up a mic to a radio. This mic I'm going to be wiring up to an RCI 2950 that I recently got. I got my tools, I got a soldering pen, some solder, my flux, my little screwdriver kit for putting it together, precision knife, cutting wires. But ready to go. I already got the mic cord uh, ready to go. So all I have to do is solder it up and not waste your time with all the other little stuff. One of the things I like to do is I like to take some solder and put it on, this, on what they call the shield so that the solder sticks to it better. I put this on there, a little bit of flux. Not the flux capacitor, just flux. And I coat it, and then on this soldering job, I'm going to have to uh, compare the shield and the blue together. This is a handy little tool to use to hold the wires. For. Makes it a little easier. A little more solder on there. Lots of smoke. Now coat this one with a little of the flux so that the solder sticks to it. This way you don't have any loose wires. Straggling around on you. When you're trying to solder them to the pins. And the mic jack. Put a little flux on this one. 
and the black one. See how easy that is. And you don't get any loose wires. And all that's left is getting that little white one. And a little solder. And there you go. Okay. Now we take this little handy tool we got sitting right here. see what you're doing better and it holds it for you. Then we take our mic jack and if you, if you look at these mic jacks you'll see I don't know if you can see them on the camera or not but it marks them pin 1, pin 2, pin 3, 4, 5 and 6 is in the middle and it says it on the back side too. And you want, you're going to want to go online and look up the wiring code for that specific radio that you're wiring your mic to. I can leave a, a link in the description below to show you that will take you to where you can download a, a wiring book so you'll know what your wiring codes are. Or you can look on cbtricks.com. So then we take this and we put it in our handy little tool. Like so. To hold it for us while we solder. And then this is like so. And the first one we're going to use We're going to use the shield in blue goes to pin one. Pin one is right here. And get a little solder on your pen. Locate pin one, and you just set it there.
and boom. Shield and blue is on pin one. And the white one goes to pin two. The red one goes to pin three. Which seems to be being pretty stubborn. And the black one goes to pin four. And there you go. Now before I go to show you how the mic worked out, I'll show you some of these tools I used to do this. You can find them pretty much at any Walmart or whatever. I had an old precision knife that I used. This you can pick up. I bought mine at Radio Shack. They're not around anymore I guess, but or there's a few of them, but this holds your wires for you and you got the magnifying lens for seeing what you're working on better. This you can pick up at just about any Walmart. That's where I bought mine at was Walmart. This is a handy kit. Comes with hundreds of little bits that you can change out for pretty much any electronic project you're working on. Computers, radios, but I use mine for radios, a little magnet, if you drop your screws you can pick them back up with that. But I've found that at any Walmart. And my solder also from a Radio Shack, my solder pen from a Radio Shack. And my flux. Now let's go put this on the RCI. Yeah. Alright, so here is the Silver Eagle that I wired up to the RCI 2950. We'll turn on the RCI 2950. And you see it's working fine. I got it scratched. You can hear that. So you know, everything seems to be working alright. Let's see. The audio seems to be good on it. So I'd say that's a good project. Wired up the Silver Eagle. I showed you how to wire up a Silver Eagle. A static to a 2950. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up and like the video. And be sure to share it with all your friends and family. Click the subscribe to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.